Stephen Del Duca, did you sure. want to jump in here? Yeah, absolutely. So the Ontario Liberal Plan for Housing, first of all, over 10 years, 1.5 million new homes across the province to go right at the heart of the housing affordability crisis, and that would include thousands and thousands of new homes being built right here in Northern Ontario. We would partner with municipalities around limiting or eliminating exclusionary zoning practices, and I'm talking specifically about homes that are two stories and contain three units. We would go after the speculators because Ontario's mayors have told us and said publicly that there are currently 250,000 at a minimum homes that could be built across this province that have building permits and approvals in place, but landowners and speculators are sitting on those waiting for the prices to go up so they can make more money. This is a crisis. We can't afford that. We would also create the Ontario Home Building Corporation that would unlock current surplus provincial government land to build homes. We would do the same with underutilized strip malls and commercial and industrial properties, again, because of the nature of the crisis that we're facing. And when it comes to the new homes that the Ontario Home Building Corporation would build, or would sell, I should say, those would be limited to first-time home buyers because that's who's facing one of the toughest crunches right now. Let's hear Ontario from Doug Ford. Would He's also been bring very back quiet during this discussion. So, Mr. Ford, really quickly, does, no, I'm going to move on to Mr. Ford. We're out of time. Thank you. But I'd like to hear: Does your party have a plan to make housing more affordable in the north? We we actually have a, a great plan. I'll, I'll tell you about it. We we have more housing starts in Ontario, uh, over a hundred thousand last year. That's more than in 30 years. We've sat down with the municipalities and talked to them. We want to make sure we standardize the process right across the board until you can get through the red tape and regulations. You ask anyone to try to build a home, sometimes it takes two to three years to get approval from the municipalities. Folks, this is Economics 101. It's, it's very simple, it's supply and demand. We're going to continue building attainable housing and affordable housing. And if you take two to three years to get a permit, what do you think happens within those two or three years? Lumber goes up, steel goes up, labor goes up. Let's get the permits out the door and create more housing. It's a supply and demand issue, and we're going to build more homes than any government in the history of Ontario, which we had last year, over 100,000 housing starts here in Ontario.